Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tina and I make videos every single week on DIY and lifestyle. And today's video is going to be another DIY wedding video. And I'm really excited for this one because it's all about place cards. So I'm excited to show you guys five different place card styles that are really unique and also really easy to do. These really only take a couple of steps but they look amazing. Even though this video is part of my wedding series, this is definitely something that you could do for many different occasions. I can imagine this at a bridal shower, a tea party, or just a fancy birthday party. I honestly will make any excuse to make a place card, so definitely not exclusive to weddings. And you can definitely personalize any of these place cards by changing the colors so you can match the theme of whatever party you're planning. But that's really up to you, and that's what makes these so versatile. Before we move on to the projects, please hit the subscribe button so you can see new products every single week and with that being said let's go into the first project for this first place card you will need watercolor paper watercolors brushes and a ruler first I'm going to mark off the paper to the size I want for each place card for these I'm making them two inches wide and then I'm going to use the ruler as a flat edge to rip the paper along it to give it a torn deckled edge then I'm going to rip these in half so that I have a 2 inch by 4.5 inch place card, but feel free to make this whatever size you want. Now I'm going to take my watercolors and make a mix of phthalo blue and Payne's gray to make a nice dark navy blue. Then I'm going to dip my brush into water into the paint and then do a nice rough wash of the navy blue along the bottom edge of the paper. I want these to look very organic so I'm doing this pretty fast with a loose grip. And after that's done drying, it's time to add a beautiful metallic gold edge. I'm using my favorite gold watercolor palette from Amazon and I'll link it down below. And here I'm painting the very bottom edge and again I want this to have an organic look so I'm just dabbing the paint on here and there creating very natural bumps and grooves. For the finishing touch, I'm going to make little speckles by getting some of the paint on my brush and then tapping it against my finger so then it creates these perfect little splatters. Now it's time to write the names and here I'm going to show you a little trick to make it look like you watercolor them on but in fact you did not first you're going to want to use a marker here I'm using the Tombow dual brush markers but you can also do this with regular Crayola markers with the marker I'm going to do calligraphy as I normally do then I'm going to take a small brush with water on it and just go over the writing really slowly and as you can see it's creating this beautiful watercolor look this is a great trick especially if you're not as comfortable with watercolors and I love the way it looks and now your place card is complete this is so beautiful and reminds me of a starry night perfect for any celestial theme celebration but definitely you can customize these colors to whatever you want I just really love the navy blue that I used here and ugh, I'm obsessed This next one is pretty simple to do, but it looks amazing. So I got these clear acrylic hexagons from Amazon and they are perfect not only as a place card, but also as a coaster, because as you can see, she is pretty thick so she will hold up and work perfectly as a coaster. But what I'm going to do first is paint one side with gold acrylic paint. This actually took me three coats to get it to where I was happy with it, but it was so worth it because I think it looks really good. And then for the names, you can choose to write with a paint marker or use vinyl, but I chose vinyl. And if you're looking for a tutorial on how to do this with your Cricut machine, I will have my video linked down below. And if you're looking to do this in marker, please check out my video all about writing on acrylic by tracing your design. It is a really helpful tip to use and as I said earlier this project is super simple But it just looks so good and I love how they turned out. I know your guests will love it, too It's functional. It's beautiful and it doubles as a party favor that your guests will want to keep so this next place card idea is perfect for a modern wedding. I first cut out these half circle shapes on watercolor paper with my Cricut machine, but you can also create the same shape with a circle die cut and then cut it in half so you can get these half moon shapes. Then I'm going to create a color palette for my terrazzo pattern. You can do whatever color you want to match your theme, but I love warm tones. So here I'm going in with shades of pinks, oranges, browns, and yellow. And for the background, I'm going to do a little wavy edge with a very light wash of pink and then 
then once that's dry, I'm going to make little blobs with the rest of the colors to look like the chips of rocks that you see in real terrazzo stones. I love all these colors because they just look so cute together. And then once that is dry, I'm going to write the names with my markers again using the same faux watercolor technique. I also wanted to include this bonus place card because if terrazzo is not your thing, you can change it up and do a classic geode inspired design with the same metallic watercolors. So here you can see I'm going in with my dip pen and I'm making three jagged waves along the edge of the watercolor and now you have this very classy geo design and I love the way that both of these look. I honestly can't choose which one I like better. I just think they both came out really nice and I definitely want to make them for a future party. All right, this next one is another place card that doubles as a party favor. First, I created these little square tags on black paper with my Cricut machine. And if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can also cut out the squares and use a hole punch to create these tags. Then again, I'm going to go in with my gold metallic watercolor for that extra bougie touch. I'm lettering them with my nib pen and I'm just going to write the names as well as the table numbers. And for these tags, I'm going to attach them to mini alcohol bottles. These are definitely a fun little treat for guests, but you can use whatever item you'd like for your party favor. Then with some twine, I'm going to loop it into the hole with both ends of the string and this way the tag will stay in place without flopping around. Lastly, I'm going to turn it around and finish it off with a bow in the back and this place card is definitely very classy looking and will be sure to impress your guests. And if alcohol isn't your thing, do little mini syrup bottles. I think this is a cute option as well. I just couldn't help myself. So enjoy these mini syrup bottles with a cute place card on them. I love the way these look and I hope you guys will too. It just really shows that these tags are very versatile and can be used on any object. All right, so I saved the easiest place cards for last. For this place card, you will need faux or real magnolia leaves. And for the video, I'll be using faux leaves that I already had on hand. Next, you're going to need some paint markers. So depending on how much text you want on the place card, you can use thinner markers. But for mine, I'm only putting first names, so I'm using a fatter marker. Then all you need to do is write the names in faux calligraphy. First, write it out in cursive, then go back in and thicken the downward strokes. And there you have it, a super cute and super easy place card that brings in a beautiful natural element to your party. So those were all five of the projects. I hope you guys like them. Tell me which one is your favorite down below. I honestly cannot pick a favorite. Um, let's see, which one? Okay, I thought about it and I think that my favorite one has to be one of the watercolor ones because it is so beautiful and homemade looking. You can definitely tell that they have been crafted by hand. So either one of these two are my favorite. I am such a sucker for gold detailing, so I definitely love this. And then I'm definitely proud of these two because it's definitely a unique shape having a half circle. And I'm also really proud that I was able to make these super trendy by incorporating a terrazzo pattern. Is that how you say it? Terrazzo. Terrazzo? <laughs> They're not even in focus anymore. But I'm really glad that I was able to make this one and then this one if you're not into the terrazzo pattern. So either one of these have to be my favorite. I think a close second has to be this coaster. I feel like these are just so beautiful and functional. And not only is it functional, I love that it also doubles as a party favor. So your guests are definitely going to appreciate this one. I actually got a marble coaster before from a wedding and I still have it. So I just know that if you made this for your guests, they'll definitely keep it and definitely use it. And if you recreate any of these plays cards, please tag me on Instagram so I can see. I really hope that these inspired you guys to create some really unique place cards for your wedding or party. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. All right, you guys, that's all for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and if you learned something new. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm posting every single day on there and I will see you in the next video. Bye.